when mommy comes to pick up her four-year-old little girl, daddy goes in to fetch the child, but he comes out not with the toddler girl. Daddy comes out with a 12-inch blade knife and stabs mommy to death in broad daylight right in front of her, his and her own children. Was mommy's murder touched off by her new engagement? This is two full years after she legally divorces daddy, after she files a restraining order to protect her from daddy. This was an ordinary routine pickup of her daughter to bring her back home. She lived with mommy. She was visiting daddy. She goes to pick the baby up. Her other little boy ends up calling 911, crying, screaming into the phone. He's looking at his mom, lying there with a hunting knife sticking out of her chest. Then daddy takes the phone away from the boy. Calm, cool, and collected on the call to 911. Now, a lot of people are saying the whole thing was touched off by mommy's new engagement to another man. No, no, no. You don't touch off a murder. And I don't want to see this woman's death somehow reduced to a domestic incident. Oh, no. Out to Phil Trexler, reporter with the Akron Beacon Journal. Phil, thank you for being with us. What happened, Phil? Yeah, Nancy, this is one of those cases that just shocks the senses, you know, in a number of uh, ways. It's it's horrifying in the sense that because of the sheer brutality and the and the stabbing death of uh, Candace Roberts, but it's also heart wrenching, you know, in another sense that this you know murder was carried out in front of these two young children and was in fact committed by their own father. It's just it's horrific. Uh, Jeremy Roberts is being he's the father. He's charged with murder. He's being held under two hundred fifty thousand dollar bond. Uh, they're looking for a motive, but you know, really, I don't know if there is an ever can be a motive for something as you know horrific as this just you know the brutality of it all and the horrifying death of seeing you know a young mother killed stabbed repeatedly in front of her own two children mm, mm. and dave mack uh phil trexler is correct a lot of people are looking for motive tonight but the reality is the state never has to prove motive in a case because that would ask a prosecutor to crawl into the mind of a killer and in my mind in this case a premeditated killer because he went inside to allegedly he faked off the mom said that he was going inside that he had to change the little girl's clothes quickly instead he came outside Jeremy Roberts came outside with a 12 inch blade hunting knife and stabbed mommy to death in broad daylight. He clearly exactly. intended this, Dave Mack. Dave Mack is morning talk show host with WAAX. Go ahead, Dave. Well, Nancy, that's exactly what happened. You know, you, you said premeditated. Look, she was there on a quick pickup. You know, they'd spent the night. She shows up. She leaves her car running in the parking lot. She goes in, stands at the door. Maybe they had an argument. I don't know. But he says, I'm going to go and change her clothes. I'll be right back. He doesn't come down with a four-year-old. He comes down with a knife, chases her out of the yard, stabs her multiple times, and then tells the 13-year-old, hey, go call 911. Tell them what I just did. 